the police oversight question on the ballot. What were your thoughts on that? Um, I definitely think it need some more oversight. Um, but we do need more police, honestly, because um, I'm sick of seeing people like, I live right here on North Street, so seeing them, people race up and down the street all day long. And like, even during Halloween, there was like huge problems here where there were people like doing like 50 down this road for for no reason, you know, there's kids out. And, and uh, I think there definitely needs some oversight on the police, but um, I think, definitely think we need to support the police a little bit more here in Vermont. I think that any vote that can enhance our policing is great, but I think that we should ask also address the actual problem, which is the lack of police in our town. I don't think I've seen a lot of effort for or against it um, either way, and I know that the city council unanimously put it on the on the ballot, so um, inclined to support it. See, definitely see both sides of that issue. I think the one good thing about that um, <clears throat> that initiative on the ballot is it does show that all Burlingtonians are deeply care about the issue of public safety mm -hmm. uh, and want to have a, a police force that uh, wants to be here, uh, feels su supported, but also uh, is respects the rule of law and has checks and balances within the department as well. I'm hoping that we are going to be getting more uh, police and then that there is going to be more police involved in overall uh, oversight. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's a good thing to put in our charter um, as a, a long-term solution. To me, it is an important step forward. It's not the end all. I think we have more work to do to build further trust and oversight of our police department. But there are really three very important parts of that question that I hope people will reflect on. I think it's a complicated issue. I think there's a lot of arguments both uh, for and against in terms of I can appreciate uh, the police force's concerns regarding difficulty with recruitment and retainment simultaneously. Uh, I think there have been a variety of events that have uh, indicated that oversight is necessary. Honestly, the commission was kind of a toss-up for me. I didn't. I wanted to sort of know more information about it, but I also believe that we should have more voices in looking at policing and looking at sort of the corruption and potential abuse within the policing system. So. I think that's really important for people to read up on, read the actual words, read this, you know, read the sort of layman's terms um, on your own time and vote appropriately. And the reason I voted no is because I think at this point optics matter. And once we defunded the police force or however the terminology you want to use, we were I think one of half a dozen or dozen or so municipalities that defunded their police force. And if you have thousands of police forces and only a dozen or a few dozen elected to do that, as a police officer, I don't think you Burlington would be your first choice. And so unfortunately, I think it could be a good idea in principle, but I don't think we should be exercising that leverage right now. And I also don't entrust the city council anymore in terms of giving uh, enshrining them with more power because I don't think they've protected the city and I don't think they've looked out for the, the welfare and the general populace. The police is undervalued in the city. That's my personal opinion. Well, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for voting. Yeah, Have a good care. day. Yeah.